As early as the Emmaus experience on the day of resurrection, Christians recognized the presence of Jesus Christ in the breaking of bread. When followers of Christ gathered in Jesus' name, the breaking of bread and sharing of the cup was a means of remembering his life, death, and resurrection, and of encountering the living Christ. In the 18th century, the Wesley brothers, John and Charles, created a renewed emphasis on Holy Communion. They recognized the power of God available in the Lord's Supper and urged their followers to draw on that power by frequent participation. The brothers wrote a collection of 166 hymns on the Lord's Supper. They included themes of love, grace, sacrifice, forgiveness, the presence of Christ, mystery, healing, nourishment, holiness, and pledge of heaven. They knew that Holy Communion is a powerful means through which divine grace is given to God's people. John Wesley stressed that this holy meal was not only a supper for the saints, those who had already experienced the love of God working in their lives, but also a converting ordinance, a means whereby someone experiences God's love as if for the first time in an intense and personally transforming way. The table of Holy Communion is Christ's table, not the table of the United Methodist Church or of the local congregation. The table is open to anyone who seeks to respond to Christ's love and to lead a new life of peace and love. The Wesleyan tradition has always recognized that Holy Communion may be an occasion for the reception of converting, justifying, and sanctifying grace. The body of Christ, broken for you. The blood of Christ, shed for you.